What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some more crafts. If you are new to the channel, I am obviously a golden retriever mom and I'm a very extra mom and I like to do all sorts of fun things with my girls for all the holidays. So for Christmas, Easter, you name it, we are doing crafts. We are doing all of the fun stuff. So this time we are going to be focusing on Easter crafts since Easter is literally right around the corner. This is part of what we are going to be doing to celebrate Easter with our pups. So for supplies, you need the dogs, paint brushes. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Depending on the size of your dog, there are a couple of different options. By the way, everything that I have here is from the Dollar Tree. So it's very, very cheap, very inexpensive. I will link everything down below. We are gonna need markers at the end to finish up the paintings. Obviously we need canvases. So these are eight by 10 canvases. For something as simple as what we're doing, these were great. I get two per holiday. So each of the girls do two different designs. And then for paint, I I have yellow, two things of green, white, red, black, purple, and two different shades of pink. Make sure that you have non-toxic paint to use with your dogs. Have a towel to dry their paws off when you're done cleaning them. So I just take one of our paw cleaners, I put some warm water in it, put their paw in, twist it around, and that's how I'm able to get the paint off. And then of course I just finish drying it up with a towel. So I make sure that this is all ready, good to go as soon as I need it. So for the first painting, I'm going to make an egg. Basically, I'm just gonna put a big egg on the canvas. I'm gonna have their paw print in the middle and then I'm gonna write their name on the egg. And then I'm gonna draw some grass at the bottom so that the egg is like sitting in the grass. And then for the second painting, I'm going to do flowers. So I'm gonna do paw print, paw print, paw print, paw print, four different flowers. So the paw print is going to be the flower and then I'm gonna draw the stem and the leaf. And again, the same thing, grass. So more of like a spring Easter type vibe. So for those, I think I'm gonna do the two shades of pink and the lavender for the flowers. I might try painting more of the middle of their paw pads yellow to give it more of a realistic flowery look. So that's my ideas at least. Hopefully these turn out really cute, I guess. We will uh, find out soon. It was something in the First artist, I have Larcy. I'm gonna do the egg and then go right into the flowers since she will already have her paw with one of the colors that I'm gonna be using for the flowers anyways. Let me get both of these canvases ready to go. I try to do these as quick as I can to make it easier for them. So the more prepared that you can be for everything before you actually get started and before their paws are painted, the easier it's going to be. And make sure that you give them breaks if you're doing a lot of paintings. If you have dogs like mine who have long coats long fur. Make sure that you are cleaning other paw pads before getting started. Otherwise, their paw prints are going to just look like big blobs because of all the hair, all the fur in between their toes. The girls just went to the groomer like two weeks ago, so they should be okay with their paws still. Are you ready to get started? Are you a little artist? I have you come over here so they can see you. Come here. This is the first time that you're doing this with your dog. Show them what you're doing and how it's going to feel before you actually try to put it on their foot so they don't freak out. Take the paintbrush, put it on her feet. Let her feel it. Good girl. I'm gonna do the egg first, so we're just gonna do a plain, bright pink paw print, okay? Good girl, it's okay. You're fine. Try to make sure you get into like all the nooks and crannies. Ready? So we're gonna go like towards the center and then pull it straight up. Turned out pretty good. And since I already have this color on her, I'm gonna do one of the flowers in this. I'm gonna go straight into that. The more colors that you're gonna have to do with them, the harder it's going to be. I'm just gonna do this kind of random. Good girl. Pick this up so we don't dump it. I do their paws twice just because it doesn't get all of the paint off with one. We're gonna go right into the other pink. I love you, you're doing great. I'm gonna try to be a little creative on this one and do a little bit of the yellow on the inside. So we'll see how this turns out. It might be a good idea, it might be a terrible idea. I'm not really sure. I'm gonna take this light pink here and do the next flower. Oh yeah, you can, that looks actually really cute. All right, let's do that again. No more pink. 
Super cute. All right, let's get this cleaned off. Last one onto the purple, and then you get your break, and we will do Cobas. Almost done, baby girl. You are doing so good. This looks so cute. I really, really, really like this purple color. Cute. Clean off your paw. One last good time. Here is how Larcy's paw prints turned out. Love the yellow inside of the pink. I wish I would have done that for all of them. So now I'm gonna move on to Koba J's paintings and get hers done. Hi, hello, hello. I'm gonna make Koba's single egg light pink just so that it's different from Larcy's and then I'm gonna keep the next canvas close just so that way it is ready to go. Show her what I'm doing and paint your paws. Good girl. I have my paw cleaner already. I have a brand new towel for her. So let's do that individual egg first. Let's do flower and pearl cocoa. Leave it. Make sure you get underneath their nails when you're cleaning out between colors because the color likes to stick right up underneath there. Let's do your other pink with the yellow in the middle. Do two of these hot pink flowers just so that it's the opposite of what I did with Larcy. The hair on their paws is actually a little bit longer than I thought that it was. Super cute. Almost done. We're almost done, Coco. You are being a little rock star. Now we're gonna do the purple. So this is how Koba's turned out. What do you think, baby? Do you like them? Did it good? So this is the paw print for her egg. Didn't turn out the greatest at the bottom, but that's okay. These, I love these. I really love this flower idea. I think they're gonna look super cute. So like I said, I'm gonna let these dry and then I will start decorating them. Now on to the drawing part. So I let them dry for the rest of the day and then I came back the next day to start decorating them. So for this first one, this single paw print is the one with the egg. So I just drew some grass on the bottom and started making the egg around the paw print. I put her name in the middle of the egg. I am not an artist, so please don't judge me on my really great artwork, but I think it's cute enough for what it is. But yeah, I just started making some random designs on the egg, trying to do a couple different colors, and then I went back through the grass with a few different shades of green that I did have, just to kind of make it look a little bit more real, so it's not just one shade of grass the whole way around. And then I took yellow and colored that around a paw print, and I really think that helped make the paw print pop. So that is the initial egg, and then I decided to draw some smaller eggs on each side. My camera did cut out, but I just put little tiny paw prints on this purple egg over here. I thought those were really really cute and then for the other side I just drew another purple colored egg and decorated that as well. Whenever you're doing this it's really nice to have a rag handy so that way you don't get mucker all over your hands and it doesn't just blotch all over the canvas so as you can see I'm using this rag here to kind of help prevent that a little bit and it did make a pretty big difference. So that is that final product for now. So the flowers on the left is the inspiration that I had for these flower paintings. Flowers are their paw prints and then I just drew little stems in green and then I kind of made them a little bit thicker just so that they stood out a little bit better on the white canvas. And then I just went through and added some leaves onto each of the flowers. And I made the inside of the leaves a lighter shade of green just so they look a slight different shade of color. You can't really tell unless you're close up, but it does look kind of cuter, I think, than just using the same color green all the way throughout. And then I just filled in the color of the leaves with the green that I used for the stems. And then I just drew little tiny patches of grass that the flowers were sitting in and I like love how these turned out. Like I said, I wish that I had done the yellow in the middle of the paws for all of the flowers, but now that I know how cute it looks, I'm definitely going to do it for 
future paintings. This is that final project. Love it. And then I just went back through and added on Marcy's name to each of the paintings. And then I just went through and did the exact same thing with Koba J's paintings. And I will show you how they turned out. final products to my baby's beautiful artwork. Hopefully uh, you enjoyed it and you think their artwork is super cute. Comment down below which one is your favorite. Head over to Instagram to see other super cute Easter pics that will be coming up super soon. If you're not already, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. I post a lot of dog, dog mom, lifestyle type of content here. So if that's something that you're interested, please feel free to stick around. I do post new videos every single Sunday. So I hope to see you right back here next Sunday for another video. Bye guys.